Hi guys, uh, in this video somebody suggested that I take the MyHeritage DNA data that I got uh, from, you know, my, my last swab and uh, I upload it to some of the other online DNA databases to see if I could get a more accurate picture and reflection of my ancestry and I thought that was a good idea. So uh, this is the upload to, uh, I think it's Family Tree DNA. Um, as you'll see here, yeah, it, it, it's covering my origin. And unlike, it actually picks up a couple of things that I did not have in the My Heritage DNA. So I'm just going to pull up the map. All right, I'll just close this down. And uh, so I will do the breakdown here. So the European, uh, it shows the British Islands. Now, in the last one, it said I was Welsh and Scottish. It didn't actually say that I was from England. Uh, and I, I know for a fact that our ancestors are from England in the family tree that we have on my heritage. It actually goes back and shows these people, many of whom were in London and, and elsewhere. Uh, so this this is a little more accurate. The Iberia thing is interesting. Um, I know that <laughs> my ancestors were smugglers. Um, they fled uh, 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 England and uh, they became pirates, and they were involved in piracy and uh, pirateering in the Caribbean. Ironically, literally, pirates of the Caribbean. And um, they aligned themselves with the Spanish because, you know, the, the English and the Spanish were against each other. You know, so they were against the crown, and they aligned. So the Iberia thing is interesting. Yeah, so that's like, you know, South Europe. Um, I, I'm assuming there's some kind of Spanish connection. So that was very interesting. Uh, the West Africa, yeah, I knew that my great-great-grandmother was Nigerian, yeah. This, however, it stretches all the way down to South Africa, which is, that's interesting. I, I didn't, I didn't, uh, you know, we didn't get those uh, markers in the last one. Uh, the New World is also interesting. Now, I know for a fact this, is, this might be a little off. I don't think we have any connections to the United States and Canada or anything like that. We're more in Central America. I know, like, for a fact, my grandmother is from Venezuela, um, so this, this is uh, maybe a little bit off, but you know, it's still interesting. There might actually be some connection there. Uh, I might actually have to kind of look through the records to see, uh, Middle East. So this is North Africa. So this is like the Morocco, Tunisia, sort of Algeria kind of area. That's very interesting. I, I, you know, I didn't, I didn't pick that up in the, uh, in the, my heritage either. Uh, the Jewish diaspora, <laughs> there we go. Ashkenazi. Um, now this is good because I actually did a Jewish, uh, lineage test many years ago, and it did come back and say that I had some kind of Jewish uh, blunted me and stuff like that. So um, that this is again something that was not present in the uh, the My Heritage uh, breakdown. And then we got some trace elements as we see here. So uh, Northeast Asia, uh, uh, Sephetic. So this is again Jewish. Uh, Siberia. Wow, that's interesting. Uh, the South America, this, this in fact, should be larger. Um, as I said, I do have family that comes from Venezuela. And uh, West Middle East, which is, yeah, that's kind of interesting. I'm, I'm surprised. Um, but yeah, as I said, this is the exact same DNA data that I used at, uh, uh, at my, my heritage. Uh, so I just downloaded it, and I've uploaded it to this site as well as... I, I've uploaded it to another site. I might do a video when that one finishes processing. I know it's not 100% accurate. It's kind of fun, though. Um, uh, but what this site also gives me is uh, your ancient origins. So they try to trace the oldest elements of your DNA back to, like, their original source, uh, which is kind of interesting. So I'm going to show you that now. Uh, let me just pull that up. So... This is the ancient European origins uh, map, uh, which is pretty strange. Uh, yeah, 10% um, <laughs> metal aged invader. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Can, can we see where this stuff has come from? Uh... Oh, interesting. Look at that. I've, I've, I'm coming out of Georgia. So... Uh, I've got invaders coming out. Uh, this must have been in the time of probably um, what would be at least the Ottoman Empire around that time. Uh, that's very interesting. So then we got the hunter-gatherers uh, out of Egypt, apparently. That's pretty cool. Uh, the farmers uh, scattered all the way. Oh, look, the Russians. Well, everybody knows I love Russians. Um, so what is this? The farmers roughly came out of north Syria. That's interesting. And they settled in these areas. Uh, so I, I guess I'm part of that stock. I, <laughs> I don't know how this works. 
Um, yeah, Metal Aged Invaders, okay. And uh, these are... So th these, are, these are the places that I've been up to, let's see, Stuttgart, Germany 5,000 years ago, Luxembourg 8,000 years ago. That's pretty cool. Um, which, what is the oldest? The oldest is Sweden. <laughs> uh, well, I, you know, I do love my Scandinavians uh, and my friends out there. I, I love my Russians, my Scandinavians. Uh, right, we got Spain, uh, the Swiss Alps. That's very interesting. Central Europe. Central Europe and uh, Eurasia. Can I can I see where this is? Uh, no, it's I I can't. But I yeah you know as I say I'm not taking these things tremendously seriously. I know, uh, you know the data is never going to be fully accurate because I mean really what constitutes a European, a Britisher, uh, a, a sorry a person of English descent, uh, you know versus somebody in Wales or Scotland. And stuff. They, you know, it's, it's, these are very minute traces and, and there's nothing on this that's picked up on like the Asian side, the Chinese side. So, uh, I just thought it would be fun to, you know, show the comparison. Uh, I thought this was pretty cool. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, if you guys like this, you know, be sure to like, share and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Uh, when the DNA results come in from my mom, I will be uploading that to my heritage. Hopefully they will, um, adjust some of my data, maybe be a little more accurate. Um, but yeah, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Connect with me on social media. I'll put all of the links below. And uh, as always, thanks for watching, guys. Take care.